We got a guy who has been in the trenches and who will be there for us in Washington. And now it is time for the man of the hour. Jeff, that's all yours. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I want to start by thanking everyone for coming out here today and standing in the hot sun. I think by the end of the press conference, I'm going to look like George Hamilton with my uh, sunburn here. But, but uh, this community uh, is wonderful. And that's the reason why I'm running. I'm running because I love my community and I love my country. And this community deserves a champion. A champion who understands the 26th Congressional District. Somebody who's been here, has been in the trenches, and knows the people, the businesses of the 26th Congressional District. I've had the honor of being a small business owner in this community, and uh, I've also been a teacher. I'm on the faculty at Cal Lutheran University. I've been there for 10 years. I've also been a prosecutor, seven and a half years as a uh, deputy district attorney for Ventura County. I've been a legislator, uh, representing most of Ventura County in the California State Legislature. And I've been a naval officer, currently a commander in the Navy Reserve and an active drilling Navy Reservist, two-time veteran to the war in Afghanistan. And I'm going to take all of those experiences, the leadership, the working across the aisle, I'm going to take that to Washington, D.C., where we frankly desperately need it. Washington, D.C. is broken. And I, uh, and I intend to take that same spirit. What I've been able to do in Sacramento, for example, uh, working in a hyper-partisan environment where I'm a member of the super minority, notwithstanding that, we've been able to, to, to push forward and to achieve legislation on behalf of business and job creators that's truly meaningful in the last two years. We've been able to get comp uh, workers' compensation reform done. Some of it, not all of it. We need to do more. We've been able to do some regulatory reform. Not all of it, but some of it. We've been able to uh, put a clamp down on some of the drive-by lawsuits for some of our small businesses under the umbrella of the Americans with Disability Act by uh, unscrupulous attorneys that simply file lawsuits knowing that small businesses won't hire a litigator to challenge them. I've been able to be, as a vice chairman of the, of the uh, budget committee in Sacramento and the assembly, I've been able to be the chief negotiator with the governor and the, and the Democrat leadership on some key things that are so important to my district, like the water bond that will be before voters in November and start the process of re, uh, reworking our infrastructure to uh, hold on to water and to transport it to Southern California so that we do a better job of managing our water and addressing the drought. Proposition two, I was a, uh, the uh, chief uh, co-author on that, and that is a rainy day fund. I can't tell you how important that is to small business, and here's why. As the chief negotiator on the rainy day fund, I will tell you if voters support it in November, and I think they will, it'll require the state, require the state government for the first time during the good years when revenues go up to hold on to those revenues so that during the bad years when the economy drops and people are suffering, that they don't, then they run out of money in Sacramento, that the first option isn't to turn around and raise taxes on you, small business. They'll have that rainy day fund so they can continue to do the vital services that Californians appreciate, that Californians rely upon, like public education, infrastructure, law enforcement, that they don't have to turn around and continue to do what they've historically done, which is raise taxes on you and hardworking Californians. Those are all, uh, all of the things that I've been able to do, notwithstanding being in one of the most hyper-partisan environments in the nation. So the, the leadership of being in combat, the effectiveness of being a pragmatic legislator, the experience of being a small business owner, I'm gonna take that and the support I have from our local businesses here who are friends, allies, uh, each and every one of them. I'm gonna take that same spirit of can do and take that to Washington, D.C., where the, unfortunately the spirit is cannot do. And we're going to break through, we're going to move the needle forward, we're going to move America forward. We're going to get, we're going to get manufacturing back to California. We're going to bring it back from overseas and, and bring it uh, back to the United States and we're going to bring it here to California. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to work on reforming the tax code so it's not such a burden on our small businesses. We're going to work on regulatory reform. Businesses like Gills Onions right here, suffering under some of the worst regulations ever promulgated by people that have a, uh, the, the right interest in mind but with overly burdensome regulations that are making businesses go out of, uh, go, you know, fire everybody and go out of business or move to other states or nations, like stormwater runoff, as just an example. Extraordinary burden on our small, medium businesses, even on our universities and our naval bases. They can't handle that. 
So these things need to be re reworked. And they need to be reworked not just on a Democrat idea or a Republican idea, but on a pragmatic, common sense, real human being, normal person, what makes sense uh, a, a, a approach to these issues. Something that's sadly lacking too often in Sacramento and is desperately lacking in Washington, D.C. So I would be, I would be honored and proud to be that, that champion for this community, that person that can stand up and try to unite Democrats and Republicans in business and labor, East County, West County, military, non-military, by doing the things we need to do. And that means fighting to keep the Navy base from being closed down in the next break of, uh, round of BRAC uh, evaluations, which will be in 2017. Fighting to make sure that our ag has the water they need and is a partner in the state effort to bring the water down, to, to keep water, store water, desalinate water, do the things we need to do. Um, all of those things and more, I'll be a champion for this community. I want to thank everyone for standing out here in the hot sun and for supporting me. We're going to do this in November. We're going to win. We're going to take back the 26th Congressional District, and we're going to take back America. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone, about that standing in the hot sun part. This is not a spectator sport. We are going to wrap this up with a photo 